I hit you. Okay? This is for the figure and the animal. All right? The tile uh, list will be uh, different, and I'll do that when we get closer to the tile time. Okay. This armature is set up for the standing figure. So January, uh, the first one out, number one is standing figure, number two is animal. Uh, and they are filled, but if you still have your heart set on doing a standing figure, you can do it in workshop number three in February. And that's still got, the, uh, got uh, some spots, but February is beginning to fill, so uh, go ahead and, and that will be the last, uh, the first one in uh, February will be the last figure of the season. So if you uh, your heart is set on figure, sign up for that one. And you can do the standing or a bust. A bust will teach you a lot about head, shoulders, uh, eyes that are round. That's a, a really problem thing uh, with beginners or somebody that's not classically trained. So uh, it's really good for that. If you like doing busts, you can do a bust. If you missed out on the figure because it filled so darn fast uh, and you want to do a standing figure, you can. Uh, so sign up for that. And, and just let me know that that's what you want so I will have the correct armature because it's a different armature for a bust. All right? Okay. So what do you need? Teachable spirit. All right? Don't know what a teachable spirit is? Go to the page, the Facebook page, Surviving Mary Mary Workshops. If you're not already a member, it's the first post there details what a teachable spirit is. Make sure you bring that. Okay? Second thing, a white towel, right? We talked about that. How big does it need to be? You can take an old towel. This one has been used several times, my husband thinks so. And for the figure, you, you don't want it any wider than 12, 12 and a half. 12 by 20 is just about right for the figures that we're doing. Unless you, a student that has studied with me before and wants to work really big, in which case, let me know. But you have to have studied with me before if you want to do a three-foot uh, standing figure. And, and I'll, I'll show you how if you've already studied with me. But uh, for the rest of us, we're, we're going to be doing 18 inches, which is right. Okay? So it has to be white because you don't want to have pink, lime green, yellow, because that's not the way the eye works. And we're dedicating a whole day to color. And the workshops are five days long this year. So, whole day uh, dedicated to color. And if you have a hot pink towel or chartreuse, like somebody showed up with a chartreuse, um, you will not be able to see color accurately. And why don't I provide this? Because I provide most everything. Because this is going to be going home with you under your sculpture. So, I don't want to provide them and then have to sell them to you and go out and buy more. So bring a towel, a uh, figure, no wider than 12. If you've got one wider, we can cut it down. And uh, 12 by 20 would be just about perfect for this, right? For the figure. The animal is going to be bigger, probably 20 by 20 or a 20 by 24. A size towel would be good. But one you're not going to mind cutting down. And it must be white. If you show up with the chartreuse, then I'll just have to sell you one. And I'll, I'll try to charge you through the teeth for it. And that's how we're going to do our chest. Okay. <laughs> All right. A whiteboard marker. All right. So uh, what happens is uh, I will be posting to you some photos. And you will print them out. Um, basically, it's going to be a standing figure like this. All right and probably a side view, too, of the muscle and the skeleton. And uh, so you'll need, what's that, eight and a half by 11, is that what it is? A standard size, so a standard size typing paper. So some people, they, they do that and they print them out, and they print them out like this big. No, you need it the whole size, right, the whole length, because we're gonna be measuring off of that. So you'll need a side view, and I'll post them, a side view like that. And I'll do a side view like this. Um, I will post some other basic muscle and skeletal studies. You can print those out too if you want, or you can keep them in your um, in your phone. But this one has to be because we're going to be I'm going to be marking it up with a white marker. Where is my so you can get a, a white marker 
I would get the bigger one than this. Here we go. That allows me to mark this up and still have it rubbed up. So your picture will go in there front side, and then when I, I come, I can I can write measurements on there and whatnot, and it, it can be rubbed off. And you can keep it right on a whiteboard, magnetized whiteboard. So that I provide. That way, on down the road, I can also draw things on here if it's a muscle or something you need. If you're OCD like me and you want five or six pictures and you want every muscle from every view, um, yeah, I'll print it out, right, and um, bring them. And you can you can bring them in, the, in some kind of binder, but make it a binder that can open so that I can pull the the one we're going to be using the most out and keep it handy for you, right? Sometimes I just magnetize it right up there. Okay? Questions on that? No. All right. So, whiteboard marker. Dust mask. Where is my dust mask? I think I had everything out. Oh, yeah. Dust mask. Basically, you need a dust mask. You need a really good Ziploc bag, one that will open and close even with a little play dust near it. And you need nitrile gloves. Nitrile gloves keep acids and whatnot, say we're spraying copper oxide or something, from going through regular gloves. So this is a 3M mask, um, mist and dust. Buy, buy a good one. You don't need a big fancy thing like that. Unless you have one and you want to bring it on the plane and have them ask you questions while you have it. <laughs> But you do need at least this, right? Uh, so if you get this this kind uh, and you spend a little bit more money than the dollar store variety, you'll find that this will break on you and it'll be more comfortable, right? So you want to keep them in a Ziploc bag because we're working in a studio that will become dusty when we're cleaning and whatnot, and we don't want dust ending up on your mask. And then it sort of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Because you'll be breathing. So, and then put your name with a, a Sharpie, right? Right across that so it won't get mixed up with anybody else's. So arrive with this, okay? And uh, what else? An old credit card. Where did I put it? There you go. So um, this is where old credit cards come to die. You don't have to cut them up. Well, we can do that here, depending on the size. AARP sends me ones for free. They're a little weaker, but they're pretty good. So I always save them. And uh, they are the absolute best uh, tool for smoothing and compressing the clay, I think. So don't bother to. You need just the right tool to compress this clay. Oh, or there it go. Okay. <laughs> to compress this clay. So don't bother to bring... Any fancy ones, you don't need them, okay? A couple, a couple, if you have them. I have some extras if you absolutely, I've never saved an old credit card before for you twice, did you? All right, so don't worry if you don't have one. I have a few that people leave behind. All right, where's that get us? Clean page holder I already covered, so, and make sure you print out your, your two basic Pictures um, eight and a half by eleven. Fit in there. No small picture. We did it in nine minutes. Huh? Well, am I going to be able to? I might have to post that in the group. We'll see. All right. Oh yeah, people have been asking. Here's the uh, the address of the studio though in your group. If you scroll all the way up, it's somewhere in there. And when you do a search for a place to stay, Tanka Verde, Arizona, is your search. Even though my address is Tucson, Arizona, that'll, that'll get it down to my uh, studio. This little road, uh, dead end road, is off of Tanka Verde. So if you put Tanka Verde, Arizona, or sometimes it's called Tanka Verde Valley, um, you need a Pinterest file, right? Account. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, find me and um, follow me, Mary Art Tunes. And there are lots of you in 